William Lawrence. He's a professor of political science and international affairs at American University here in Washington. Thanks very much for joining us on the program, William. Now, the group of potential candidates is getting larger and larger, but of course among them is the Republican favorite and former President Donald Trump, who is central to the party. How can the other candidates get past him? It's going to depend, excuse me, much less on the primary uh, campaigning and much more on Trump's legal uh, woes. So as you know, he has cases against him uh, regarding the Florida uh, documents case, the Georgia election uh, fraud case, um, uh, other cases in Washington, D.C., and other cases in New York, uh, many of which have dates hitting uh, during the campaign year next year. And I think the more independents and suburban voters uh, see Trump as unable to beat the Democrat, that'll help whoever the leading Republican is. And that's why the Republican field is growing, because people are uh, smelling weakness in the Trump candidacy. Even though Trump continues um, to hold about half of the Republican Party and edges Biden in the polls, it's the downward trend of, of Trump's popularity with non uh, core Republican voters that worries um, the funders and other people, many of whom are jumping to DeSantis and others. And DeSantis is seen as Trump's strongest contender, but he was doing a lot better six months ago in the polls. Aside from the, the Twitter glitch this week for his campaign launch, what's happened? So in the November to January time frame, he was starting to really compete with Trump in the polls. His numbers were north of 30, 40 percent. Now they're back down to around 20 um, for a number of reasons, including uh, a number of unforced errors that DeSantis made. It wasn't just the, um, the uh, latest debacle with the rollout of his campaign, uh, but he's made a number of other missteps and a lot of pro-Trump PACs are advertising in various key markets around the country about uh, things DeSantis did as a congressman and as Florida governor, which are against sort of mainstream American views. So DeSantis is trying to, write to run to the right of Trump to win the primary, but uh, Trump's supporters are tacking back towards the center and showing how, for example, DeSantis might be dangerous uh, for entitlements and wanted to cut, you know, Social Security and Medicare, or that DeSantis's position of, on abortion is so extreme, it's even beyond what Trump would support. So uh, uh, this sort of tacking that's going on has hurt DeSantis and will probably continue to hurt DeSantis. I mean, the, the, the Republican candidate who would probably do the best with those suburban and, and independent voters is, is probably Nikki Haley at this point. And right now, Nikki Haley has nothing bad to say about Trump uh, everything she has to say is bad about DeSantis because she wants to knock him off as the number two and Trump is happy to have Nikki Haley help him knock off DeSantis as the number two. So what do you think this is doing to the Republican chances here? Many Democrats say this is a positive thing because with so many candidates it shows the Republican Party is fractured. Is that the case or do you think that there is momentum and there is talent there and there's time for, for one of those candidates to come to the forefront? I think everything you said is partially true. So about half of the Republican Party is solidly with Trump, and that's not going anywhere. So that's not really fractiousness. And of the never Trumper or the questioning Trumper voters, they're tacking between the different um, alternatives here, which is less fractious than it is uh, about winnability. I think 88% of Republican voters said they would vote for Trump if he's the nominee. A nominee. I think something like 86 said they would vote for DeSantis. So it's not a never Trump vote, which is what the Democrats would like to think. It's a how do we beat the Democrats at the presidential level vote. And as I said earlier, that prospect's going to get worse and worse over time, I think, with all of these lawsuits. Uh, and that means this uh, a, a second generation Republican that would need to uh, emerge to challenge Joe Biden. And that since even Democrats say they're reluctant to vote for Joe Biden because of his age. A younger Republican candidate could really help the Republicans. Very interesting year ahead. William Lawrence, thank you very much for your insight.